hey guys it's me gabriel and today i'm gonna be doing another video now this is gonna be a daniel wellington unboxing video so it's not exactly an unboxing because i got these a few like months this one i got last year i mean two years ago this is my mom so we're just gonna do a re-unboxing i guess you could say because i still have the boxes so why not okay so let's get started okay so as you can see here this is uh the gift box um these two are like the original classics and this is the classic petite you can see really classy daniel wellington the box so let's start with the oldest one okay so easy you just have to lift this up Oh, there's my broken bow tie. This was actually a present from my grandfather. So yeah, let's just get this out. As you can see, a really nice classy leather box. This is actually like a nut brown leather. Not necessarily like black, I guess. It's brown, Daniel Wellington embossed. And then there's this cream leather. I really love their boxes. So as you can see, when you open it, you get the watch. So this is the um, classic Sheffield, I believe it is. I got the rose gold 36mm ones. And this is the leather. As you can see, it's really pretty. Focus. Now this box is ruined because the leather rubbed against this box. So let's see what's inside the box. Get this little pillow. There's my birthday note from my grandpa. Then here you get a tag that shows you what watch you got. Daniel Wellington. Then inside here, similar to Apple's packaging for their recent iPhones, you get like a manual. You get this um stick thing camera focus to like kind of like change the straps you've got a warranty card it says limited warranty um okay so inside here you just get um your manual on how to operate the watch and stuff like that let's take one out I'm pretty sure the others will have similar packaging so yeah just this manual Daniel Wellington they give their social media and as you could see thank you from for purchasing a watch from Daniel Wellington who is Daniel Wellington tells you about their watch their collection and then it like there's the warranty tells you how to change the straps water resistance and basically um this is like a spec sheet for your watch then over here it just shows you a picture on how to style your watch I guess so yeah that's all in the box there's this I I love squishing this. So yeah, this is the first one. Let's just set it aside. So this is the gift box. I think you must request for this. It's free, I think. I don't know. Because as I said, I got this as a present. And then here's my second one. This is a classic black. Uh, also a present, but it's not exactly like a Christmas or birthday present. It's more or less like a getting good grades in exam present. I got this last year. So, similar packaging. Oh, I forgot and I stuffed these there. <laughs> and then you just open it. I wore this watch a lot, so yeah, it's pretty messy. So as you can see, this is the classic black model. With the black NATO strap, I believe it's called Classic Cornwall, 36mm as well, rose gold. I'm obsessed with rose gold, Daniel Wellington's. 
then this tells you what watch you got same tool yes i never use this i mostly use that one because it's already out of the bag uh, we've got the same manual and then um same warranty card basically the same things uh except that i still have the silica gel in here i don't even know why wait let's just keep the box and then now we move on to the classic petite model this one is more unique because it comes in a black box with rose gold lining as you can see daniel wellington then it just kind of slides out it's really hard because i'm recording with one hand and like doing an unboxing with the other then similar daniel wellington but in gold as you can see the gold lining then you just lift it up and bam there it is so this is a i think all of their classic petites are 32 oh my gosh it's stuck is it stuck gosh yep it was stuck 32 as you can see it's much wait here it's smaller this is my mother's she chose the melrose rose gold strap and it's a different way of wearing as you can see stainless steel oh i love the autofocus so inside this you get um <laughs> oh my gosh um i think you get the same things it's just that it's harder to reach so yeah you get first you get this premium packaging thing i guess the sponge you use to put your watch it pops right out and then you get your oh this comes in one big bag yeah this don't mind my school shoes and then in here you got some easy pull tab this is i guess where all your information would be let's see yep Oh, special one. Whoa, this is so premium. Owner's guide watch manual compared to the other two. Damn. It gives you like same information just in more premium form. So yeah. I think that's all for the unboxing. Now let's get into the review. Um how do I fix this? Oh yeah, a uh, quick note. Um, even though this two, this and the classic Sheffield is the same size, they are different prices for the classic black and classic white faces, I guess. And also prices vary. Um, uh, they are different um, according to the size. So moving that out of the way. We've got all three watches. I'm not going to review this because it's not mine. But I'm just going to put it there for a show. So this one, as you can tell, it has a leather strap. I've worn this. I think I had it since 2016. As you can see, the leather is pretty rough. And then another way to tell whether it's authentic or not is the back. It should look like this. Then the front, the white face. I'm not gonna lie, I honestly prefer the black face more. It's just that um, the black face one only came out like after I purchased my white face one. So yeah, if I seen this earlier, I would have definitely gotten this over this. So now I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, maybe like sell it, but probably just give it to my sister to wear. And as you can see, the leather. And in here it just says Daniel Wellington. And then it says genuine leather. Uh, one funny thing is that my friend always saw this when she was shopping for watches and she always thought it was like a uh, genius leather. 
uh, you should go follow her. Her, I'll put her Instagram there. Uh, in the description below. So this is mine. Other one, rose gold, but with a black face. Look how good that looks. Then the rose gold, the NATO strap. So, um, when you want to change the straps for the leather, you have to use that um spring tool that I showed you earlier. Um, this one. But for the NATO one, you just have to like um kind of like uh, so hard to do with one hand struggle of making videos by myself um you just have to basically pull this out of the loop here and then oh gosh i don't want to drop it you slide the watch face off like that and then there you have the strap. This strap, <laughs> believe it or not, it costs like really expensive, like 99 ringgit compared to um, 100 or 200 ringgit for the leather. This one, I'm not so sure, but I think it's right around 200 as well because it's stainless steel. So this is what you're paying for basically. The watch face. The reflection. Me recording. So yeah, um, I always wear these watches to like fancy events when I'm going out with my friends. I normally wear this um, black one to school because it's NATO. Um, I also wear it out to watch movies, shopping. And I wear this more to like weddings, birthday parties, Christmas and stuff like that. I wear this more for like, uh, I, I, I will say I wear this more. And one thing that I like is that it's so sleek and so thin. So it's not easy to scratch it, but definitely it's scratchable. Oops. And one thing I love about the NATO straps is that uh, it won't get smelly after you sweat as to compare it to leather. That's one of the reasons why I wear this more to school. Now that this um strap is like falling apart, I'm gonna get another one. But I'm not sure whether I should get the brown or like the um uh, what's that one? The brown or uh I think it's called New York. It's like black but has like crocodile skin effects. Cause this one is definitely peeling. But also one thing good is that this one also goes with the same same strap so i could just like buy a lot and just switch between this kind of like apple watch like how i justine or i justine has a lot of apple watch bands that she just switches them up but unfortunately i'm not that rich so yeah um i gotta say materials definitely feel premium uh, very scratch resistant. I'm actually surprised because these are stainless steel. And as you know, the complaints with stainless steel like on the iPhone X, the stainless steel Apple Watch, it scratches a lot but not for me. Uh, as you can see, the this one I had since 2016. Hasn't been scratching a lot as well. So yeah. Um, I would say I definitely recommend you getting a G-Shock before getting this. Because I did get a G-Shock. I'm going to do a review of that. Like, I got a G-Shock in 2013 as my first legit branded watch. For the past years, I've been having counterfeits. So yeah, in Senate 3, I got that watch. Uh, 2013 and after that I decided to get try uh, Daniel Wellington I would say I prefer the G-Shock a lot more cause that's more like a watch that you can wear for everything like water parks uh, travel anything but this you only could wear to like events where you don't get wet or like where you're not sweaty where, like jogging running swimming 
But yeah, I definitely definitely recommend you getting a Daniel Wellington if you already have a G-Shock or just get Daniel Wellington even if you don't have a G-Shock. But I do recommend getting you getting a Daniel Wellington while you have like another watch. Like a watch that you can rely on anytime. Like G-Shock, Swatch. Because these are really pricey. And also it's like, it's the same theory as like say you get a Lamborghini. And you would also want to like um get another car. Like how a lot of people who, who own Lamborghinis have like a Mercedes or like that. So that they could just drive it around to like, you know, get groceries and stuff. So like, yeah, this watch you wear it like for like events, shopping mall. But the G-Shock or counterfeits are more for like just going running, swimming and like going to the grocery store for a while. So yeah, that's um my review. I would say... The only con of this watch is that you can't wear it, you can't wet it that much because, I mean, the watch itself is waterproof but the straps aren't, so yeah. And also, the fact that they are so premium and expensive makes you hesitate wearing this watch out to some places as to compare it to G-Shocks, you could just like, oh, I'm gonna wear it because it's shock resistant. I have the Mudman and the Golfman. I'm gonna do a review of those two later. So yeah, that's all for this review and slash re-unboxing. So yeah, um, f don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Uh, add me on Facebook if you want. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!